I want to introduce you to Foundryside by Robert Jackson Bennett. It's the first installment of the fantasy, The Foundress Trilogy, that you must read. I know I mainly review fantasy Roman books. However, sometimes there might be popular books from other genres worth commenting about, or gems that I find in my personal reading that I need to share with you. And that's the case right now. Look, I don't think I'm a picky reader, but it's true I don't give 5 star ratings easily. The story has to blow me away, leave my jaw hanging for a while, knock it out of the park, you know? Foundryside is that and more, if that's even possible. It's simply a masterpiece. From page one to the end, it's packed with action. The tension, the intrigue, the twists, the world and its possibilities. It's just something from another category. Please, come with me to Tevain and let's join Sansia our amazing jack-of-all-trades protagonist in her adventure through tunnels, walls, foundries, life-threatening jobs, carriages that move on their own accord, while she tries to steal a magical artifact of immense value. Immerse in this steampunk fantasy, a world of ingenious magic like no other. I still need to read the third or the last book, but I've never given so many stars in a series before. My review on this trilogy will come later this month. If you enjoy this content, like it or leave me a comment. I'll be happy to hear from you and heed your advice. After all, Fave Reviews is here to make your reading journey smoother and more satisfying. This month, I'm looking forward to four books. We have Someone Else's Shoes, a romantic novel by popular British author Joya Moyes. You might know her for the book and movie adaptation of Me Before You. This time, we meet Nisha, a woman with a glamorous, wealthy life, until she's cut off after her divorce. Now meet Sam, who took Nisha's gym bag by mistake and stole her shoes. Sam's life is the opposite of what Nisha's used to be. She's struggling to keep afloat. She literally steps into someone else's shoes, Nisha's Louboutin red stilettos, and something jolts inside her. Join two women, fighting to hold on to dear life. Moise is an excellent writer with a characteristic style. Her romance is usually tragic. Her story is deep and insightful. Not everyone's teacup, but let's see about this one. Now let's move on to another romance by the hand of Tessa Bailey, Secretly Yours. After her success with the Bellinger Sisters series, I'm curious to read this cute story where Halle's teenager self fell for Julian and many years later they find bumping into each other again. However, they are polar opposites. A burst of chaotic color crashes with antithesis of the grumpy tidy type. Will they get that desirable kiss? And what about fantasy romance? These Infinite Threats is the second installment of the series This Woven Kingdom by Tahere Mafi, coming on February 7, just like the previous two novels I just mentioned. In here, Persian mythology mixes with forbidden romances, where Ali said, who used to be a servant, is in reality the long-lost heir to the Jin throne. However, there are deals with the devil that must be fulfilled, and so her throne and heart are on the line. What will she choose? Finally, check out Ambrosia, to be released on February the 20th. This is also the second book in the series Frostag Nectar by Cian Crawford, where Ava and Torin will have to keep, you know, juggling obstacles to fulfill their goals. I've read quite a few books by this same author, and the first book in this series, Frost, was one I got to satisfyingly lose myself in, so I'm really looking forward to this sequel. A couple of weeks ago, you received my review on Akotar, with an additional opportunity to explore the myths and fairy tales behind the book series. If you haven't listened to my podcast episode yet, don't worry, you can always go to my website and check the Fey Lounge tag for the complete library of my behind the scenes content. So I want to end this video letter with a blog post of mine where I briefly discuss the meaning of a few symbols embedded in those myths I discussed. Is there a significance to certain numbers or flowers? Find out by clicking on the link I'll be leaving below. 
And as usual, don't forget to download your on-the-go guide. Finding what to read next and narrowing your choices have never been easier. See you next month.